Hey guys, it's Bridget. I want to do a quick haul for you today. These are some beauty makeup items that I've picked up recently. Kind of fall related, I suppose. I've got some drugstore stuff, some things from Sephora, and a couple items I ordered off Beautylish. So let's get started with drugstore. The first item is something I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Cherry Skies. So I recently have found a new love for the red lip ever since I tried the Pat McGrath Lip Kit. And I do love those lipsticks too, but I also wanted to try a liquid lipstick, so I picked up this NYX Liquid Suede. I do like the formula of these, and this is what the color looks like on my lips. So I've really been enjoying just throwing this on days when I want to add a red lip. My only complaint is that the second ingredient is petrolatum, and I do usually try to avoid petroleum products, especially on my lips, but I didn't know that when I bought it. If I had, I'm not sure I would have gone for this particular lip product, but <sighs> alas, now that I own it, I will get some use out of it, and it is a pretty nice red. Also from the drugstore, I picked up two lip liners. These are the Revlon Color Stay lip liners in the shades Chocolate and Wine. Two of my favorite things. So these are both red lip liners. I didn't have any red lip liners at all since I never usually wear red lipstick. And I realized I needed some to match my new lipsticks. I'm wearing the color Wine on my lips today with the liquid lipstick. Wine is a really nice kind of berry, almost plummy shade. It's definitely got a bit of purple in it. Um, super beautiful. Really like these. I've always liked the formula of the Revlon lip liners. And they they come in like the pencil twist up kind instead of the sharpening kind. I think I prefer sharpening lip pencils, but I can, I can get over it. So these two have been a favorite and they're also inexpensive as they're from the drugstore. Last drugstore item is also red. This is the nail polish I'm wearing today. This is the Sally Henson Miracle Gel Nail Polish. I picked up a couple other Sally Henson Miracle Gel Polishes in the spring, a couple bright colors, and I ended up really loving the formula, so I went back to pick up a nice basic red. This lasts a long time on my nails. I use this with a base coat and then this Sesh Beat top coat, and it lasts about at least a week on my nails. I don't know, it's supposed to be like gel nails. It says no light, meaning you don't need like the little UV curing light that you need for gel nails. Although I wouldn't say this is comparable to having real gel nails done, but it is a nice formula. Next from Sephora, I ordered the Bite Beauty Lip Kit. So this comes with four mini lipsticks. The shades are Pepper, Honeycomb, Fig, and Nori. Pepper is more of like a mauve pink, which is one of my favorite colors to wear. Honeycomb is a beautiful nude. Fig is like a bright pink color. They're so tiny. Oh. And Nori is a deep dark red, which is also lovely. So I've been really loving these lipsticks. They're super tiny. They're nice to throw in your purse. And also it's just enough that you get to see if you like the color and if you want, you can always purchase the full thing. The other good thing about Bite lipsticks is that all of their range is made with food safe ingredients. So I wouldn't recommend taking a bite out of your lipstick, but apparently you could without consequence health wise. And of course these are petroleum free. So if you like the Bite Beauty Lipstick Minis, then be sure to check back throughout the month of October on my channel because I'm going to be giving away five of these little sets in hidden giveaways. So they will be dispersed throughout my videos and in those videos will be the instructions of how to win. So make sure you check back and stay tuned on my channel for that. Next, I ordered a few things from Beautylish.com. I ordered the RCMA No Color Powder. This is three ounces of powder. This is a massive jar. It's a really great face powder. I like the fact that it's white and no color, as the name suggests. I find that I prefer this to my Laura Mercier powder, 
I know, shocking. But I find this one to be a little more finely milled, a little lighter on my dry skin. And also, the Laura Mercier one is kind of like a yellowish color, and this one is perfectly clear white. So I've really been enjoying this. I usually take tap a bit off in the cap. It's kind of annoying because this is the only way to, unless you want to pour it out into a separate container, it's a little bit annoying to get it on your brush. But I usually take, I usually take some on this small eyeshadow blending brush and I just tap that under my eyes after I'm done concealing and a tiny bit around my nose and just a little bit in my T-zone. I don't powder my whole face usually ever, but I find this powder is perfect exactly where I need it. Also from Beautylish, I ordered from Lit Cosmetics three different loose glitters. I have Barbie Shops, which is like a clear whitish iridescent glitter, super beautiful. Vegas, which is a holographic gold, really pretty. Mexican Lucky, which is another gold, kind of more orangey gold glitter, and this one's the finest powder of them all. I really like lit glitters. They're super high quality cosmetic glitters. I like how they order them in number by size. So number two is the smallest particles, which is I have in Mexican Lucky, which is really tiny. And then number three are slightly larger pieces of glitter. And then I think it goes up one more, number four, which is like a chunkier glitter. So that's always handy. I think if you order three, you get a free glue, or at least mine came with a free glue. This is the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a few glitter tutorials in the near future. I've already done a little bit of experimenting. So definitely check back soon for some glitter makeup tutorials. As always, please just give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.